Business School online. We at HSNC University are committed to give quality education to our students, and we always try to provide the best ever opportunities to our students, faculty members, and also to our alumni. We are happy to share that HSNC University has collaborated with Harvard Business School online to provide the best learning experience to our students, alumni, and faculty members across our uni university institutions. Today's webinar is to introduce you all about the various courses of HBS online programs and their benefits. We have amongst us Honorable Provost of HSNC University, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, Honorable Vice Chancellor of HSNC University and Principal of KC College and Director of NHSRE, Dr. Himlata Bagla, and CEO of Yangpo Executive Education, Dr. Samir Karkhanis, to make us aware about this golden opportunity. Now I take this opportunity to introduce Dr. Himlata Bagla, Vice Chancellor of HSNC University, Principal of KC College and Director of NHSRE. She is an accomplished academician, a pioneer educationist in strategizing excellence in institutions of higher learning. As the Vice Chancellor and former Senior Dean of Science and Technology, HSNC University, Mumbai, and the Director of Niranjan Hiranandani School of Real Estate, and the principal of KC College, she is engaged in planning, organizing, and executing innovative and state-of-art academic and professional courses, backed up with her astute administrative experience. She is noted authority in nuclear and radiochemistry, having guided students at master's and PhD level for nearly 25 years. Her interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary research interests cover the spectrum of chemical, radiochemical, biomedical, and nanotechnology domains. She obtained her master's in sciences from University of Mumbai at the age of 20, and she obtained her doctorate in inorganic chemistry, specializing in radiochemistry at 25 years of age. She has published more than 170 research papers in national and international journals of repute including nine publications in NASA's astrophysical database system and has presented papers in national and international conferences and delivered a number of invited talks in various academic forums in colleges, universities, and national and international conferences. Under her able guidance, as many 15 students have obtained masters and PhDs. She has spoken on a number of platforms as a panelist in order to guide students in their careers career choices, and has contributed career-related articles to the leading newspapers of Mumbai. She is currently the sole Indian scientist in 15-member IAEA international team working on the coordinated research project on medical devices. I request Hema ma'am to kindly deliver the opening remarks. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Patiksha, for that elaborate introduction of mine. Next time, please keep it brief. We have with us uh, Honorable Provost uh, of HSNC University, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, our guest and partner of the webinar, Dr. Samir Karkhanis, Dean Commerce and Management and the Principal HR College, Dr. Pujaram Chandani, Professor Kishore Pishori, who is Principal of LMK College, our sister institution of the board, Dr. Bhagwan Balani, who is Dean of Humanities and Registrar of HSNC University and Principal Bombay Teachers Training College, Vice Principals of KC College, HR College, my colleagues, dear students, and all the aspirants with the bright future who are present here this afternoon. A very good afternoon to all of you. Dear friends, almost 25 years ago, back in 1997, I had read Peter Drucker and you all know, uh, please read his books. He's one of the most influential management gurus of the globe. And I did not understand much about the uh, statement which he made. And he said, distance learning is coming on fast. Imagine way back in 1997, we believed in traditional education. But no wonder we all have witnessed how fast it really came. At present times, Peter Drucker says, we now accept the fact that learning is a life long process of keeping abreast of change. And indeed, we definitely realize the value of learning in the rapidly changing world. Today, we are witnessing 
the already changed structure of education in the form of emergence and expansion of virtual learning. Today, we have gathered here this afternoon to have that dynamic learning interactive session on building knowledge in times of virtual learning, staying focused and relevant. This is organized by Tessensi University Mumbai in collaboration with Harvard Business School Online with Yangapu Education. Friends, we are, uh, let me tell you on this wonderful afternoon, uh, we are really fortunate to have with us this wonderful opportunity where one of the most brilliant minds of India, an entrepreneur par excellence, and an iconoclast educationist, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, who is here present today with us. He will be enlightening all of you to enter the future with the vision of staying focused in changing times. Thank you very much, sir, for joining this afternoon with us. Today, we also have with us Dr. Samir Karkhanis, CEO of Yanku Education, an awardee of exemplary work in the field of education. And he has an expertise in online programs and career mentoring, and also engaged with development of online courses in partnership with the best global companies and universities. A warm welcome to you, Dr. Samir, for being here this afternoon and making this necessary session possible for our university. Friends, Dr. Niranjan Hirandani says that virtual is the new normal. I'm sure we all are living with this new normal today and now, and that too with a lot of benefits. 21st century education is a thrill. It's a its scope is vast and extensive, covering multifold designs, modules, and skills. Today, I want to take this opportunity to talk more about skills and why the reason we are here. To talk about, you all must be reading in various articles through teachers and uh, different seminars that there are in the 21st century skills, there are basically 12 abilities which we are looking at in our students that they need to succeed, not only in their careers, in their lives, with the relationships, and because that the, the kind of uh, life they are living, the kind of mental health we expect that they should live with, these 12 skills will always will be there with them. These 12 skills, which we talk about uh, 21st century skills, I would say that there are three different categories. I'll briefly outline this, and there may be one big lecture for all of you with the great experts one day. I won't mind even myself being with you talking about these 12 skills which you must acquire and in three categories. So you being uh, my friends, let me share with you that if you want to be uh, in, in today's world of competitive age and the changing markets, the ever evolving markets and ever evolving world around you, you need to acquire learning skills, literacy skills and life skills. Only three categories, simple three categories. Learning skills we talk about, there are simple, the, the most popular, I say four C's. And if you read many books, even start learning these skills, the four C's should never leave you. And that is critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and communication. Let me briefly tell you about critical thinking. If I'm a teacher, I'm a researcher, I'm an educationist or an administrator, you are in financial market you want to be in marketing, you want to start your business, you want to be an entrepreneur, you are a teacher yourself, I believe critical thinking is a very important aspect which will remain with you always. And that is nothing but a simple terms, finding solutions to problems. Out of all four C's, creativity you know very well, communication you know how important it is, that most difficult concept which you must acquire, the skill which you acquire is collaboration. And that most difficult uh, aspect, which we have arrived today very easily, thanks to Dr. Sameer. So collaboration may be the most difficult concept, dear friends, in the four C's. But once it is mastered, it can bring companies back from the brink of bankruptcy. And we read a couple of days back the how there's a reversal of uh, the entire setup of 
coffee cafe, uh, cafe coffee day and please read the story and you should read the story about malvika and sadat and you will know how collaboration how these forces help a company to emerge coming back to second life uh, second category of uh, skills quickly i'll talk about literacy skills and it is briefly we speak about it as imt i stands for information literacy m stands for media literacy and technology literacy you and me we understand when you are uh, living in this information age uh, understanding facts figures statistics data you can't avoid be you a statistician or a mathematician or a, or a scientist or a commerce from or, or you're from bfm or bms or you're from humanities you can't let go understanding facts figures statistics and data so information literacy is very important how do you publish the same data you have acquired what methods you are using is all about media literacy but understanding the machines the gadgets we use how a gadget is used what task it performs is all about technology literacy and who knows better than you all the last category third life skills very important and i the final cat category and is also called flips simply i'll talk to you the term has been given is flexibility leadership initiative productivity and social skills and these skills all pertain to someone's personal life but these skills permeate and absorb very quickly rather bleeds into the professional settings if you do not acquire these skills i believe you will not we will not say that you are a student of or a learner of a 21st century so all these skills what is is what makes you so when you talk about uh, flexibility is about you learning to deviate from plans which you have once made it how flexible are you to change the plans today you want to become a tomorrow you want to become uh, b but be ready and get ready it can change any time be flexible leadership is all about simple thing how you motivate others in the team you can be leader being in school as well that's the reason you were even the school heads and you were captains because you know how to motivate others initiative very difficult aspect how to start projects how to strategize how to plan how to be ready and confident to start new things or startups very difficult to achieve but you have you can't uh, not have that productivity that is maintaining efficiency in the in this age so the last is social needs which you social skills you are master in that you know how to meet and how to network uh, with others for mutual benefits so many skills you have already acquired many skills you need to acquire many skills we will help you to acquire so 21st century skills have always been very important very essential worldwide and that is the connecting point to all the learners across the globe and you become global citizens and global learners and breaking the boundaries and reaching there where you want to be so this endeavor of uh, hsnc university uh, with the strategies of collaboration one c which we picked up from the, uh, the the first part of the skills networking the social the last skill both we are thing with these skills we are geared to provide it all to you to all our learners whether they are part of university or uh, our university or any other institution so our harvard business online courses a plan such a way that we provide you a methodical training in these skills and these courses a list of courses i just uh, tell you a few how important they are core uh, the name of the program is core and that is about credentials of readiness ideal for each one of you design thinking and innovation even our alumni can take up we will encourage our teachers to take up business analytics financial accounting economics for managers entrepreneurial essentials most importantly sustainable business strategy disruptive strategies negotiation mastery strategy execution global business and i think the list is long even alternative investments and also about leading with finance and leadership uh, principles and uh, organization leadership the, the list is long and all this have been curated for all of you who want to take up this opportunity friends i'm glad to say that we are able to plan our goals with systematic uh, global network of peers and learners and it's these upcoming collaborations not only with harvard business school with other universities across the globe uh, our network is made to network and connected 
uh, with global peers through qualitative shared experience. We believe that the global economy demands that leaders connect across uh, regional and cultural boundaries to think very differently about regional specificity and global interconnectedness. In this light, uh, the certificate programs which we are planning to offer fosters uh, cross-border connections through uh, the courses that bring together leaders from all across the globe. Uh, and moreover, it gives an excellent platform to the learners to create cross-cultural, friendly, and professional bonds which you will create with such engagements. Because such programs, there are only limited seats and 180 countries are part of such programs. So meeting those 180 partners across the world is what we are looking at you in simple terms. So this uh, novel collaborative endeavor for sure will enhance uh, our overall academic rigor through this integration with HBS online courses. I'm hoping so very much because Dr. Samir is there. To, uh, he was ensured and assured us that this will be taken forward and it will be an excellent and exceptional opportunity for each one of you to upgrade, even upgrade our faculty, our alumni we are looking at, and we want to provide each one of them the global exposure. The teaching methodology, which we are looking at, the different pedagogies, which will be adopted from, uh, have been adopted by these programs, and also case study approach, which is very important for our faculty, for our alumni, for our students to learn. So um, friends, I would lastly say this, that uh, uh, this virtual education endeavor of HSNC University uh, is going to benefit not only our students, but also to all those who are passionate to explore and utilize its merits. If you connect with us, we shall always be there to guide you, irrespective of which institution you belong to, which university you come from, we are here to reach out to masses. I'm sure with our modern, creative, and collaborative uh, HSNC's 4.0 model, a uh, vision by our provost who's present here today of new education, very soon we are going to achieve wonders. Once again, on today's platform, I thank Honorable Provost, uh, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani for gracing the occasion, and, thank, and to Dr. Rasami Kakhanis for being the prime guide of the interactive session. Thanks to all who have joined. Thanks, Dr. Pratik Shah for being the lead to organize this event for all of us and all the principals who are part of this event. So friends, lastly, I would like to leave you with one thought, which I always tell you and students repeat when they come into my cabin and say that, ma'am, do repeat that sentence which you tell us. So today morning when one student said, I say, surely I shall share this line with each one of you. So friends, present yourself with the opportunities. Don't wait for others to provide you with opportunities and be the best version of yourself. God bless and all the best. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such a wonderful and motivating address and making us aware of this golden opportunity to learn with HBS online. We are blessed to have Honorable Provost of HSNC University, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani amongst us today. Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, who believes a journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step. Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani is a co-founder and MD of Hiranandani Group, who recently started a distinct, uh, a distinct business unit, Hiranandani Communities. Currently, he is the national president of Pre National Real Estate Development Council, which works under the aegis of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, Government of India, and also appointed the president of one of the oldest trade body of India, Asocham. With his profound knowledge, sharp business acumen, and ambitious attitude, he has been conferred with the leadership role across various prominent business organizations and apex chambers by industry pundits. He has played a leadership and senior advisory role in various industry bodies like Maharashtra Chamber of Housing Industry, Indian Merchants Chamber, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, Co-Federation of Real Estate Re Developers Association of India, etc. He has also been member of study group on slum rehabilitation scheme, government of Maharashtra. He has been the convener of the key group of representing business community in the United Nations Conference, Habitat 2, as the member of 
working group on urban housing in the ninth five-year five plan. The philanthropist role unveils his charitable uh, social commitments as a responsible citizen of this nation. He is a trustee of 17 colleges and eight schools under Hyderabad Sin National College Aid Board. And he is also the trustee of two hospitals and three temples as a part of his charity initiatives. Passion and persistence with integral commitment of unwavering efforts is the key to achieve success and scale great heights is the quote that tritely sums up Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani. I would like to request Niranjan Hiranandani, sir, to kindly deliver his special address. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Pratiksha Kadam, for this very elaborate introduction. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really pleased to be here this afternoon with each and every one of you. Talk, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Bagla. Uh, very wonderful program that you have organized. I'm really grateful to Dr. Samir Kharkhanis uh, of Yanku Education, who has actually put all the pieces together in order to put us online with Harvard uh, Business School. Uh, it's really wonderful to have you. Uh, Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, Dr. Bhagwan Balani, Dr. Kishore Pishori, Dr. Manju Pata, Dr. Shalini Sinha, at least those are the ones I'm able to see on the screen. So I'm really happy that all of you are here. And of course, my special students who are here. In the last two years, I've gone through a paradigm of learning. Education has taken such a drastic change that everything that we thought about education has become different in the last two years. COVID has taught us a lot of good lessons, bad lessons, pain, but opportunities to make that necessary change, which I think has become imperative. Over a period of time, we believed that great institutions like Harvard, like HR, like KC, like PTCC, like all CHM, like our other colleges of the board, all were unique and are unique institutions wherein you did offline learning or college learning or in the presence of all the teachers across the classroom. Over a period of the last two years, a new paradigm made us imperatively start online education, online teaching. This brought us to a new thoughts and these new thoughts developed in our minds. That what is it that we can add to the systems or pedagogies of learning, which are going to make lifelong difference to us in terms of learning, education, and also to improve the paradigm of learning which will bring us differences which we have not seen before. So I do now believe that online learning is not the next big thing. It is the now big thing. So online learning is here and now. We do believe that online learning will be able to get you 5x material that will be able to absorb from it over a period of time, and you can do that offline learning, online learning, sorry, with different platforms at different times of the day and night. We also believe that it brings about a flexibility in the learning process. This is extremely important. Also, when you have to do learning in the colleges, you have to go to the classroom to do it. This learning brings the learning to your home instead of you requiring to go to college. It also gives opportunity for people like me who have gone through the process of completing one's PhD, but still want to learn. We can still now use the online learning for the purposes of further getting educated and learning. We do believe that this technology which has come up and the methodologies that we have chosen for the purposes of it are important in the hands of great teachers. But online learning are going to give a transformation to great teachers to bring about a new change in the methodologies of learning and teaching. Today, 
we are trying to inaugurate this new platform of learning teaching. And we are associating brands which are already at the top of their line. Harvard Online has a reputation which is worldwide and international. Our colleges, whether it is the HSNC board colleges, the HSNC university, the three colleges of the board of the university and the other 17 colleges that we have, all of them have an opportunity to take advantage of this opportunity that we have brought here today. This is going to be transformable completely because what are we trying to do? The brand that already exists with the colleges of the board, the brand that Harvard Online brings to the table, we are trying to marry these two together today, which means that you have together a differential platform that is being put up and you will be able to get a differential benefit by attending these courses. These courses are now run by Harvard Online in 80 countries. And there is a complete Ivy League league certification, which enhances your connectivity with the rest of the world. This is very important because in the jobs of today, we need to learn new skills. And these skills have international best practices which are incorporated into them. Hence, you under the HSNC University and HSNC board will have an edge over other students by getting onto this online platform, Harvard online platform, and be able to pick up new items, subjects of learning, which is going to make a difference for you in order to get a certification, which is extremely important, but also the learning of skills, which will be very, very useful to you tomorrow in your careers and practices. So today I am extremely delighted, very happy to create new paradigms of learning and bring to you this opportunity, which in detail will be shared by Dr. Samir Karkhanais, the CEO of Yangtu Education, and will bring about to tell us of how this particular online programs and the benefits that it will convey in a detailed manner. So I am thrilled happy and delighted that these new ideas and thoughts have been brought about. And I'm grateful to Dr. Bagla for having initiated these ideas and brought it to the fore. So it is wonderful today. My heartiest congratulations to the students who are participating here today to take benefit of these new ideas and thoughts and programs that we have initiated. I'm sure that in the future, we will bring you many such new ideas and thoughts to do. Please do take benefit of them. Don't miss the bus. You must take advantage of all these programs in order to make the necessary changes in your lives in the new learning process that has been initiated. And the greatness and wonderful part of this whole story is that the entire learning process is there for a paradigm change which is taking place in our world and please enjoy the process. So have a wonderful time, great learning, and a great program that has been brought to you today. Heartiest congratulations and best wishes. Thank you so much, sir, for such an inspirational address. Now we all are eager to know about the programs offered by HBS Online and their benefits. We have amongst us, Dr. Samir Karkhanis, CEO of Yangpu Executive Education, who will introduce us to this various courses offered by HBS. Growth hacking expert with two decades of experience across industries, Dr. Samir Karkhanis is the CEO of Global EduTech and career mentoring company, Yangpu Executive Education, which represents leading universities like Harvard Business School, Daikin University Australia, Lithan Singapore, IESE Business School, and many more. Dr. Samir is sought after thought leader, speaker, resource person, 
for CEOs of companies who need help to build 21st century skills and strategies to remain relevant in the ever changing world investor in the new age companies like engineering education etech ki ekida market company profit will celebrity lead, uh, learning etech etech celebrity school by dr uh, by education dr samir is a mba and phd in marketing and his expertise is in enterprise sales growth hacking digital transformation strategic alliances design thinking and business development dr karkhanis is a core committee member of education task force of cii he has worked with leading organization like exxon mobil posters general electrics and his last a corporate job was chief manage, uh, marketing officer at wellington institute of management now i request dr samir to take this session forward thank you very much for this opportunity uh, and my heartiest uh, compliments to the entire leadership team students and alumni uh, at the hsnc university and board uh, even before i start my uh, presentation i have something very exciting to share with you all but i want to tell you something this is a very 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 rare occasion and you students and faculty should feel really lucky that you are a part of a group a university which is so progressive this kind of partnerships don't happen so easily you know so the harvard business school online is very very careful on whom they partner with in the world in fact in india we have very few limited partnerships and i am very very proud to say that hsnc university is one of them this took lot of efforts from all sides you know we have been working on this for almost 6 to 9 months now and the support given by your honorable provost dr hinanandani sir as well as dr hemlata bagla has been phenomenal we had multiple rounds negotiations trying to put together what is best for you students faculty and alumni so congratulations for this and this is going to create history i can tell you that so the next 15 minutes i am going to take you through a very exciting journey not only about what harvard business school online is going to provide to you but about how the world has changed you are a part of that changing world and how you can stay relevant with the programs and this collaboration with hsnc yeah so let allow me to take you through a exciting phase it will be having some thought provoking questions for you all so look at this should you really worry or are we over reacting with covid very important questions for students who are going to be a part of the workforce very important question for students who are going to join family businesses or start their startups also for people who are going to study further should you really worry or are you over reacting with the current pandemic situation did we really need a pandemic to talk about online about digital transformation or what is the reality behind all of this just think to yourself has anything changed in the way you manage commerce money this sites are not frequent anymore what started as barter system and gold coin exchanges and bank accounts and nefts and debit cards and credit cards all has changed over a period of time so commerce has changed and today we are talking about cryptocurrencies which is going to be the future of money private currencies is going to be the future of money india might take some time but we are exactly going towards that kind of crypto currency markets which again gives opportunities for learning in the areas of blockchain ai and ml so everything what happens in commerce has a very strong background to what you are going to learn because you are going to be a part of the workforce look at this we don't communicate like this from human messengers in wars to the salman khan and bhageshri song of kabutar ga ja 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 of communication to the hotmail and to the orkut groups many may remember or to yahoo groups to your sms telephones fax to blackberry chats many may remember to gmails what do youngsters like you do today youngsters like you today are talking about snapchat and instagram and not about uh, probably a facebook and what is the future of uh, communication about marketing its human computer interface 
Dr. Bagla mentioned about how do you deal with machines. It's not about man and machines anymore. It's going to be how as a man you can work very closely with machines as a part of learning. So that is the future of communication, of marketing. Look at this. These sites are very, very rare now. You don't stand in queues for any of your bookings. So you have a theater next to your house and still you will book on Book My Show. You will book on Clear Trip. You will book on Book My, probably a Trivago. Why are you doing that? Because it is about algorithms. The algorithms are making you do this. It is about marketing. It is about convenience. Look at this. The days of deciding what to eat today, when to eat today is not decided by you. It is decided by Swiggy and Zomato. It is about the entire algorithm and codes which are presented to you in a very fashionable marketing format. They entice you to decide whether there is an offer on McDonald's one-on-one -on -one burger will decide what you will have or what is the review points you have. That is the way entire marketing technology and commerce has changed. It is opening up new doors for youngsters like you and also for people who are working to remain relevant. The old days of four P's of marketing are over now. The only rules of, uh, you know, the debit and credit and balance sheet will match are over now, right? It's the world of fintech, edtech, food tech, and that is where the jobs are going to be. Same is with Google. We start our day with Google. Google is God, and we believe in that. From weather to travel to money to currency to banking, everything is Google. So this was anyway happening. These photographs are not very old. These photographs are just five to six years back. Olas and Ubers were not popular five years back. But it is a shared economy today. It is the economy of abundance today. By the time you are in your 8th and 10th standard, the world changed in front of you. So you will have to now change with things and learn newer things as Dr. Hindarandani mentioned. How do you keep upgrading with the changes? It's not only about the pandemics and online learning. Every aspect of your life has changed. So if this is the background, what is the kind of human being you would like to become or what is the need? Who is going to survive? This is a very classic concept known as the T-shaped leader. He is going to be the only survivor. When I mean he, he and she and he, she both is the only survivor. These are the core skills which you learn in your prestigious institutions, you know, your commerce, arts, HR, KC, all your group colleges, marketing, engineering, humanities, real estate, commerce, all this is what you learn formally. But this is where the differentiator lies. Dr. Bagla did mention about new age 21st century skills. And this is where we are now emphasizing on collaboration, on design thinking, on analytics, on sustainability on disruptive strategy. This usually doesn't comes in your syllabuses, you know? And there is where this very strong merger is happening between HSNC University, which has very strong foundations in academics and industry integration. And now HBS online skills are coming in to create a person who will survive for tomorrow. I must here mention to you something very important and you should make a note of this there are not going to be any permanent jobs in the future. There will be only temporary jobs, freelancing jobs, consultancy jobs, and you will have to learn new skills to remain relevant. The days are over when you do your graduation and MBA and you get a campus placement. No, you will get the first job with that core courses and the world will change for you. Their companies will demand new skills for the new jobs. There is no permanent job. You are as good as your last or yesterday's job, whether you are employed or whether in your own businesses, things are changing, technology is taking over. And this is an opportunity for you to merge your foundation education with new age skills. With that, welcome to the Harvard Business School Online, a combination of blending technology, about flexibility and it's about learning, right? 400 year old university, the business school is 100 years old. Happy to again share with you this year, we completed 100 years of case study learning. We understand India 
as we understand all the countries of the world our current dean mr shrikan datar indian educated on boards of lot of academic institutions in india our former dean dean nitin norya sir again from indian origin understands the context so we are relevant in what we are doing right this is cutting edge one mission for centuries right for decades to educate leaders like you who make a difference in the world and they just added one single line below that wherever they are so you can be in any part of the world and this high quality education is now reaching to you i must also mention to you here that we this is not a covid created online platform like many others the concept was created in 2014 and the hbs online first program was launched in 2015 so this has been 6 to 7 years now where this formula has been tested mistakes have been merged learnings have become and the programs have enriched year after year happy to share with you what you hsnc students and alumni are a part of you will be a part of a global community and hbs online is currently in 185 countries so you have a network now of participants learners students corporate executives in 185 countries lakhs of global participants who have completed the program so a very strong past participant alumni group gold standard is what you are going to experience so many of you might be thinking of what is this online it is fitek it is boring you know we have already been doing on zoom no you haven't experienced anything like this till today we have a 85 to 90% course completion ratio any other online platform in this world has a course completion of 2% so there is something different which is happening in the journey 16 courses currently every 2 3 months we have a new course launched for you and how all this is done the idea was very very simple can we bring the unique and highly engaging business concepts to learners across the world yes it can be brought but what is unique what makes harvard business school unique the unique case study approach which completes 100 years this year the faculty same faculty same content which is delivered in the boston campus are the people who have created this program and have been delivering this program and more so most important part and i have been seeing and your institution is so popular for really students doing higher education overseas why do you go to ivy league schools globally or why do you study abroad because you want to study with peers from different parts of the world you want a classroom full of people from different countries different diversities different education backgrounds and that's why you go abroad right we have created the same experience for you in the harvard business school programs where you will see in the next slide how you can be a part of a global community as if you were in the boston classroom three pillars on which this entire process you are going to enjoy when you enroll for the courses this is your classroom this is your batch this is the world map the red and white dots which you are seeing here are your batch mates your colleagues from different countries maybe 80 100 country participants in every cohort what you are seeing on the left hand side is your individual profile of your batch mates like how in your classes now you have 50 60 students here you will have 350 to 400 participants in every course you will deal with them one on one and in groups and in projects the technology takes care of all of this so this is the latest in education in learning known as social learning because you all are products of instant gratification you love netflix you love instagram you love instant feedbacks this platform has embedded all of those latest technologies to keep you a part of a group of global learners second active learning we also understand that you have a very very short attention span you want instant feedbacks instant gratification you are restless and that is the reality you are the netflix generation you want high quality technology high quality experience ui ux all that is put together so what is active learning all modules are just 3 to 5 minutes so it is known as a 3 to 5 minute rule you will see probably a case study 
for three to five minutes. Immediately, you may have a faculty speaking for three to five minutes. Then you may have a quiz, then a puzzle, then an assignment to be done. Again, you will see some video. Everything is done in a manner that you are actively involved whenever you log in the platform. We will not allow you to jump out of the platform once you are inside. It is similar to your Netflix. One after the other, the, the episodes will keep coming and you are engrossed. And learning is made so fun and easy in this. You know, so you will enjoy this experience. It is very, very unique. You have not experienced this before, I can assure. And finally, we have very short span of time with you. All our programs are four weeks to eight weeks. So we have to give you the maximum value right? We have to make it as real as possible. And what better than making it real and possible from the case study learning point of view. So Harvard Business School is known for case studies for 100 years. Every single institution in this world consumes the Harvard Business School case studies. What additional we have done here for you, we have now made videos out of these case studies. So let's take an example. If it's a Mahendra and Mahendra case, Mr. Anand Mahendra personally is speaking in the case. So you will hear challenges, situations, and opportunities from industry leaders from across the world, from the best companies. Then with your cohort batch and individually, you will work on that. Then there will be the Harvard Business School faculty who will then drive the show for you. And this is the way you will have a fantastic learning, practical, real experience of learning in this journey on these three pillars. So it is very, very practically done. This is no theory business, you know. This is the way we teach in the classroom. The idea is to give you the same Boston classroom experience in a virtual mode. So you will experience all of those. The relationship with the Harvard Business School online doesn't end with the course. It begins after you have completed the course. So there is a very, very robust past participant network in 185 countries. You become a part of that network now for your lifetime. There are a lot of physical events which happen. There are a lot of virtual events which happen. There are a lot of wine and dine events which happen, which independently the student communities organize. There are a lot of events which are live, which are created by the Harvard Business School online. I can, I, in fact, I would like to welcome, uh, you know, HSNC University maybe to create a past participant cohort, HBX community cohort, probably for students and other people in the city of Mumbai. You can take the lead after you all do the programs. It is a great networking opportunity. Just in, we have our private LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups. Just imagine you're, you are now engaging and interacting with other like-minded people in the world for so many needs of yours. You can learn, you can network, you can, it could be ideas for startups, mentoring, everything. This is not about students. People in the age group of 18 to 70 can be the part of these programs. Ma'am mentioned about the courses. I'm just showing you it in one slide. We strongly recommend the credentials of readiness program, economics, business analytics, financial accounting as a package. We very, very strongly encourage to look at the entrepreneurship essential course. A must have skill for students today. Don't think that I'm going to do a job. Entrepreneurship is a 21st century skill. You will have to acquire that skill. One big differentiator for everybody could be sustainable business strategy. People are talking about sustainability, about green energy, how to mix planet, profit, and people. And that's a great differentiator on your resume. These are programs we should, you should look at to start with. And then there are evolved programs like disruptive strategy, which many of your faculty and alumni will go through. It is from the late and great Clayton Christensen, the innovator and the, the you know, the big author globally on disruptive strategy, very popular faculty in the Harvard Business School online, unfortunately expired last year, but his knowledge is available to you from him directly. So these are various programs, business analytics, again, a must have skill for anybody, HR, finance, engineer, you may be whoever, if you don't understand analytics, you can't be a part of the digital economy. Numbers is going to drive everything, yeah flagship program just to show you again credentials of readiness 
40% of your management education can be completed in 17 weeks. This is 40% of what MBA schools teach worldwide. Basis of management education is business analytics, economics, and finance. All other things like marketing, finance, HR will revolve around this. So this is a great program, has a final exam. You can go for four credit also. There is a possibility because many of you may want to study abroad later on. You can look at that option. You can go for not for credit also. Certification is combined for three products put together. All certification come in physical formats to successful uh, participants, have global validity. Well, now, what do we expect? This is all the fancy stuff, but what do we expect from you now? We expect five to seven hours of serious study every week. Now, you may choose to study one evening and complete the modules. You may choose to study maybe one hour every day. We don't care. You can be in any part of the world, but you have to be extremely serious. This is not an ordinary online course. This is the Harvard Business School online. So it requires a lot of discipline and study to consume the modules and also to submit assignments on a weekly basis. Unless you don't do this part, you don't move to the next module because friends, this is a cohort-based learning. A meaning of a cohort-based learning is it starts on a particular date and ends on a particular date. So this has weekly modules which you have to adhere to. You have to be disciplined, right? Because a lot of things which you will submit and which you will share during the program are a part of your other learners in the batch. It is like your classroom learning. Even though this is pre-recorded, asynchronous, the interaction is live. The submissions is visible to everybody. There is no anonymity in this. Everything is visible to your batchmates. We will throw statistics to you of what did other batches in the last five years participant answer to this question. So there is a solid peer group learning happening during the programs. So spend five to seven hours per week to successfully achieve this certification from Harvard Business School online, right? Benefits have been phenomenal. It comes from HBS online. Uh, it could be enhancing your resumes, better job opportunities, doing better in your work. All of those benefits will come to you, provided you complete the stuff successfully, right? Uh, These programs are for people from any age, any verticals, arts, commerce, science, engineering, anything, entrepreneurs, working executives. Many institutions in India and in the world use it for faculty development. Many use for alumni engagement. Just imagine as Dr. Hiranandani sir mentioned, he must have studied 20, 30, 40 years back, but how does he update with the latest on sustainability or disruptive thinking or design thinking and innovation? This is an opportunity. So different kind of people will be there in your cohort. So it requires seriousness and discipline from every individual learner, because now you are a part of a bigger classroom. You are evaluated, you are judged by your peers also. So make the best use of this. This is today just the introductory session. This is a phenomenal collaboration with HSNC University now. And you all are going to get the benefits. We are going to send regular communication to you. There will be counselings available for you. The Yangpo team and the HSNC team is going to work very closely to bring this program closer to you. And make, as Madam said, seats are extremely limited. So you have to move in speed whenever you are interested in doing any program. The entire calendar for the next three years is already announced. So the dates are given, everything is available. We need to know at least two to three weeks before that, whether you would like to enroll because this enrollment is happening globally. So this is from my side. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Congratulations. Happy to take any questions which you may have. So participants, you are requested to post your questions in the chat box so that we can take a few questions. Dr. Sami, that was a fantastic overview of the Thank whole uh, program. And I believe the cost and all can be discussed with them later when they're interested. Yes, yes. They yes. can visit the website and uh, the, the benefit they have uh, when they are with HSNC University. Sure, sure. We will send them email as we'll co-create all of those. Because yeah. the cost are very, uh, and you all have been very gracious to make the scholarship benefits available for them by this partnership. Otherwise, the pricing is very different. But because they are a part of your university, uh, they have a preferential pricing benefit. So we can discuss with them with those who are interested.
there is a question uh, saying uh, does the online school offer scholarships too yes uh, there is a preferred uh, scholarship pricing available for hsnc university ecosystem uh, the interested participants can probably get in touch with you or we will create some number for something we will create and then they will be counseled and they will be offered it will be super okay. benefits for the students okay. uh, i will add here dear students uh, uh, i mean this will uh, apply to all the collaboration is said that negotiation and uh, the thought process board that it has to be uh, very very reasonable for our students that's where just the university uh, the best foot forward and interacted and got the uh, entire fee structure uh, trimmed for all of our students yes. so it is a package i mean along with the scholarship so a scholarship is embedded in the package so if you look at it it is everyone who applies gets a scholarship absolutely yeah it's a preferred pricing for hsnc community per se Okay. Yes. Uh, so there is a question: Can I apply my TY in environmental science next year? So I think student might be the second year student and sure. asking okay. for. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, we shall be getting lot of such questions that I am in arts, I am in science, engineering, TY, SY. So simple answer for that: If you are eighteen years and above of age, you can apply for the programs, irrespective of the. the vertical which you are studying or the discipline you are studying 18 and above participants can go for the programs uh, for student communities we ideally recommend five programs sustainability business analytics core core entrepreneurship these are the five programs which we recommend economics for managers these are the five programs start with them understand what is happening you know they are very relevant courses for you they can differentiate your resume as compared to others so look at this five alumni can take any of the 16 programs faculty can take any of the 16 programs because some programs like disruptive strategy or design thinking might require work experience to understand the merits of the program in the cases right but the analytics economics entrepreneurship sustainability are must have programs for students so don't worry which discipline you are please enroll for those i must also add here because this is a question which we get worldwide people say i am not good in academics so can i still do a harvard business school online program maybe i don't understand english that well what do i do so yes don't worry just imagine participants are from 185 countries half these countries don't speak english so it is about the experience about the videos about the technology how you engage and interact that helps you in the learning not knowing english or all of those things right so people are from different backgrounds and they still do things successfully um and student is asking what is the difference between these programs and the programs from harvard courses of edx okay vast difference vast difference one none of these programs are available on any platform including edx right none of the faculties teach in any of our programs so all the 16 to 18 programs are exclusively available and delivered by the harvard business school only on its platform hbs online so no course of this no faculty of this teaches anywhere else plus those are very very passive programs on other platform these are engaging active real time learning experiences and a community of hbs online participants globally okay uh, so another question is if i apply for accounts dose that provide a training period from now or i have to apply after my ty my age is 20 years so this is simple uh, above 18 anybody can apply irrespective of first year second year fourth year you can apply you can be probably from any discipline you can apply okay uh, somebody is saying in few months uh, that fellow will be 18 years old can he can he or she apply uh, once you okay. turn 18 please apply okay <laughs> okay so uh, many of them are uh, uh, asking for the cost of uh, different programs they so that information get, yeah, we will so, provide them yeah all those who are uh, there they will get a email with the actual cost and the special pricing for hsnc uh, and a toll free number for talking to a counselor from yanpur 
Okay. Do we get lifetime access to these courses after completion of the course? Okay. Great question. Great question. Two things happen after you complete the program. After every module, you get a PDF of the learnings of that module. So you have an entire stuff of what you are learning in the course. And after the course, you have access for six months. But your crux of the program is covered in the PPT modules, which you get every week. Okay. Um, student is saying, I'm interested in business analytics, but I don't have a tech background. Is it okay? Same story. I said, you can be a science or a engineering graduate and you can still do an entrepreneurship program. Don't worry. The idea is to learn new things. And if you are from that kind of a background, analytics is going to be your backbone. You may be in HR. HR analytics is important. You are in finance. Fintech analytics is important. So this is not a data science program, friends. Please understand data sciences and AI and ML is a different programming language. This is a business analytics program. Everybody needs this skill. It is about looking at businesses from numbers point of view. So please go ahead. Any course that specifically focuses on NFTs, cryptos and blockchain technology? No, we are Harvard Business School Online is a general management business school. So it doesn't focus on particular things like supply chain or crypto, nothing. But there's a great program for you. Two programs, leading with finance and alternate investments has a rub off of those things. But we don't propagate or put any specific things. Ki, is there a course on tourism? No, we have a management program which can make you a great tourism professional. Um, what are so I'm interested uh, in uh, uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain and such technologies, uh, please connect to the head of the department of IT. And we are starting with a list of courses, a plethora okay. of programs, uh, all those who are interested in information technology and future technologies, emerge, emerging Super. technologies. So with about VFX and uh, you have animation, you have uh, 3D printing, uh, gaming, all those will be provided to you very soon. So Super. keep you have to keep logging on to the websites and check. Um, all those who are interested in technological programs and even uh, films, television, new media production, all such, even with, again, I would say you may belong to any group, any uh, discipline. We are breaking those boundaries and yes. many programs will be available to all of you. Fantastic. And madam, as, as uh, Dr. Bagla mentioned, there is no boundary left anymore. It is cross-disciplinary learning, multidisciplinary learning because jobs are like that today. So great, great initiative, madam. In fact, the earn while you learn and all what we will bring in the years to come, so that will be superb. Okay. Um, what are placement chances after completion of these courses? Okay. This program doesn't give you any placement opportunities. Okay. This is a six to eight week program. So you will get placement basis, your foundational program. What this program can help you with, it will differentiate you with anybody else who is applying to the same company. Why? One, those company executives are also doing my same programs. That is one. Second, your conversation quality, your entire quality of your interview and good discussion, the heaviness of your resume is very different from any other ordinary student. A HSNC student doing a Harvard Business School online program has a better conversion rate and a better success rate than anybody else because this is not available to others. Okay. So that can help you in your placements. Also understand the same programs are the programs which are consumed by corporates and executives across the world. Second, the, every cohort of yours and the, every batch of yours of past participants will have the same people in the group. So your network is so strong. Can I add so, here? Uh, please remember, we are not wanting to create jobs for you. We want yes. you to be the difference. You know, you want to be job creator yourself. So uh, job seekers and job creators do reach what is the difference. And you have to create jobs and placement of others. We are looking at that transformation in you. So all the students of HSN to university at least should not talk about the placement opportunities. I shall ask you how many opportunities you created for others. That is the uh, core line. So please, all the students note this line in your diaries. Do not ask whether the placement is for you. You will have the placements for yourself and even help others too. Superb. Fantastic. Uh, so the next question is, how different is HBS online model from upgrade model? Oh, way different, way different. Uh, there is no comparison here. Uh, 
uh, you must evaluate both models to know that uh, it's very different. Uh, Upgrade has nothing to do with Harvard Business School online. That way. The biggest uh, difference, I must tell you, it's a global game. Global certification from Harvard Business School, three, four hundred participants in your cohort for lifetime, alumni network. It's a different game. There is no comparison. So I think, uh, and the only question everybody is having is by when they can enroll for the programs. Wow, that is like superb. Uh, we shall work together with HSNC University to create communication and uh, counseling and enrollment uh, facilities for you in the next few days. Right, we'll share and the dates, calendar, everything. Yeah, and before, uh, once again, I want to underline this. Uh, as uh, Dr. Samir mentioned, uh, uh, last two years, not nine months, Rather, two years we have been working together. Actually, we have tried to embed yes. scholarship within the program because yes. we know our students uh, is not about the shelling or more money. It's about uh, uh, the cost effectiveness of a program. Yes. And hence, uh, uh, what we would not want uh, our children to take up with that cost. It is what I wouldn't say negotiation is about uh, scholarship embedded program. So we look at uh, how much uh, you have to pay and how much rest part has been covered. So what will be given to you is what you have to pay. Rest, you're not supposed to know how institution covers. So it is scholarship embedded program. So the rates you will see and you will come to know what is about the remaining part of A plus B, where is the B coming from? So you're not supposed to worry. The amount will be shared with you what you only supposed to pay. So that is the cost and that's the I say scholarship embedded program. And that's where we talk about online collaboration. Um, yes. It is not that we are marketing what is Harvard Business School is doing. It's about integrating with them, shortlisting and understanding the line of the courses they are planning uh, for us. There may be 32 programs, but what is good for all yes. our students that has been looked at. So we have filtered, we have shortlisted, and only that has been brought to you. It's not about the area of program, all that is to be offered to you. So we have worked in this area and uh, whatever we bring to you has to benefit you and has to make a sense in your life and so that you can create job for others. So it is uh, all about the effort of the university and uh, the vision of our provost, uh, Dr. Niranjan Hirandani. It is his push. There's a reason we could uh, accomplish this day to day and you would be very happy. Uh, you can let go one visit to Lonawala, one visit to Udaipur, one visit in that cost you should Remember, you can gift yourself to this particular program. So learn to present yourself with the presence. And this is what is all about. Fantastic. So thank you so much, ma'am. I think uh, these were the questions from the audience. Uh, so with your permission, shall we uh, proceed to... You know, one more thing, Pratiksha, you must share with them the email ID where they can show yes. the... And then all yeah. those students will be communicated, will be counseled, we will understand uh, uh, the schedule, the next schedule, because the same programs uh, have three dates. So what will be suitable to them? So they can be connected to Dr. Samir Karkhanis and he will directly be in touch with them. So we must give him the interested students... Uh, and the name and the surname, email, email ID, number, phone and number. number. So all have to uh, come in the one particular email ID. And I myself look at the email ID. There is opportunities at hsncu.edu.in. Fantastic. Super, super. And we have a counseling team based out of Mumbai from Yangpo who will guide them on what is best suited for them. So I'm very happy, Dr. Samir, that uh, you mentioned out of the 16 programs, um, what is they is, is about guiding them. They yes. must choose five. If they are undergrad students, they should just choose five. Uh, or yes. if they have experience of job experiences, they should pick up from somewhere from else. So it's not about giving them all on the platter that everything's no. you. So mm. they have to choose uh, what is uh, right and suited for them. Thank you so much for that guidance. And uh, indeed, uh, great uh, uh, event session with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So uh, students who are interested can write on uh, write to us on this email ID opportunities at the rate hsncu.edu.in. Uh, write down all your details, uh, name, uh, email ID, mobile number, and your queries as well. Okay. So ma'am, shall we proceed to vote of thanks? Okay. Thank you. So on behalf of HSNC University, I take this opportunity to propose vote of thanks for today's webinar. 
my deepest gratitude to dr niranjan hiranandani provost of hsnc university for taking out time for from his busy schedule and addressing the gathering today sir's address always generates the positive energy and enthusiasm amongst all the audience and sir has very nicely explained the online learning concept with its significance to us thank you so much sir for such a motivating and wonderful address and providing us a wonderful opportunity for hsnc university students alumni and faculty members by collaborating with hbs online my sincere thanks to dr himlata bagla vice chancellor of hsnc university principal of kc college and director of niranjan hiranandani school of real estate for an inspirational address and thinking of giving better than the best every time to our students faculty members and alumni as well thank you very much ma'am for being instrumental in the process of providing world class education to our students and always being motivating mentor for all of our faculty members many thanks to doc, mr uh, dr samir karkhanis ceo of anko uh, is executive education for explaining what hbs online is and its various courses offered the teaching learning methodology and their benefits wonderfully well and helping us to stay focused and relevant in the times of virtual learning thank you so much dr samir for patiently answering all the questions of the audience many thanks to registrar and dean of uh, arts and humanities uh, dr bhagwan balani dean of science uh, commerce and management dr pooja ramchandani professor uh, kishor peshori principal of mmk college dr manjul alwani pathak ma'am principal of chm college vice principals and faculty members across the colleges of hsnc board and hsnc university for joining today's program special thanks to our technical expert monish for his uh, support a big thank you to the wonderful audience for attending this webinar very sincerely and making this webinar a great success we are looking forward to have you at hbs online school thank you so much everyone